Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you a little tool that uh, I started using earlier on my rally car project. Uh, it's called a Clico. Um, Clicos have been around to service the aircraft industry. Uh, they're mainly used to uh, fit two or more uh, small uh, thin sheets of metal together. Uh, most of the time uh, it's aircraft panels or, or uh, uh, some sort of skin of some kind, something where you need to hold these two panels really closely together uh, and fasten them together in some kind of way. But you need to fit them up temporarily so that you can get everything aligned and in place. Um, these get used uh, every day in the aircraft industry, but uh, they're uh, pretty uncommon in the automotive industry. Um, a few friends of mine, Mark and John Hebe, who have been helping me uh, build the rally car, uh, turned me onto these uh, back when I started putting floor pans in my car. Um, if anyone's ever put any kind of thin skin uh, uh, steel together and have tried to fit it up, uh, they know that it never quite wants to sit flush, especially if you're fitting any kind of curves or any large piece. So uh, these Clicos act as a temporary rivet uh, to hold those two pieces together uh, for you to weld them eventually or, or fit them or fasten them, however you decide. Um, what I like to do is to uh, start at one side where I have a fairly decent uh, fitment and leave about a half inch gap uh, of overlap and I'll use an eighth inch drill bit to drill through the two pieces and then use the Clico pliers to separate them apart. And what this does, there are two locking uh, halves that uh, come together whenever you squeeze the Clico together. There's a spring inside of here and it pulls this uh, spreader bar back into the assembly. So that shrinks the Clico uh, halves together, allows you to press that through the holes you've drilled, and then once you release it, those halves spread back apart and uh, hold that in place. It also brings the uh, tip down into this uh, collar, and then as you let this go, you can see it brings the tip together and brings those two pieces together so that they meet. Um, what you'll want to do is uh, slowly work your way around your piece. And I like to work on about a, a three inch spacing, two or three inch spacing between my holes and my Clicos um, to allow me to weld in between those spaces. Um, and some of the more uh, complicated curves, you'll want to uh, get that a little bit closer together um, so that you get a better fitment. It kind of use your best judgment. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, as long as you leave yourself with a little bit of overlap, um, you'll be able to uh, uh, work it in there properly and weld it in there properly and, and not uh, and not blow through the backside or, or have any kind of big gaps or, or spots for leakage. So uh, I don't know where I'd be on the car without them and uh, I hope you guys get some use out of them too.